Mock techniques or mechanical advantage control holds are used to subdue someone who may be passively resisting. They're causing trouble. You need to detain someone who may not exactly be assaultive yet, but is still resisting. Uh, use the mock techniques to subdue them and restrain them while attempting not to escalate the situation. The X26E taser or human electro muscular incapacitation device is used to subdue a suspect who may be assaultive, who may be resisting, may have a weapon, may not, who it would be dangerous for a Marine to go hands on with. Uh, the taser is used to subdue the suspect through neuromuscular incapacitation, which uh, completely overrides the sensory and motor nervous systems. Trained with OC or oleoresin capsicum, a Marine can use OC on a subject to uh, disorient and bring uh, pain compliance upon a resistive or assaultive suspect. The Marine uses OC, it disorients the suspect and allows a Marine to move in and subdue him, again, without harm. In today's operational environment with the restrictive rules of engagement that we have, there's a lot of gray area in regards to the use of force. And non-lethal weapons provide the tools and the mindset for Marines to protect ourselves and each other against threats that may not warrant lethal force, such as a firearm. Right. Bend over at the waist.